Just recently, I heard a Messianic rabbi speak on TBN. And he said this is the decade of breakthrough. And he had so, so many wonderful things to say about this next decade and the fact that it will be a breakthrough time for us. He went on to speak uh, to us out of John chapter 2. And this is where Jesus performs his first miracle. And the, his mother said to those standing around, whatever he says to you, do it. So the word came that the six water pots that were standing there needed to be filled. And the word was, fill them to the brim. Don't you love that? The number six is the number of man. And I believe we are living in a time where we are being filled with the Holy Spirit anew. And he's not just filling it halfway. I believe an outpouring of the Holy Spirit is coming to us. In fact, is even currently being activated in us. We've been told aglow that we will be used in the third great awakening. Well, it's not like we're going to come up to that day and all of a sudden something transpires in us that makes us able to assist others, encourage others in that outpouring. I believe he is filling our pots now and he wants to fill them to the brim, overflowing, overflowing with blessing and faithfulness and the goodness of God. Live out of the overflow of what he has given his life to restore. You ever thought about the fact that when Jesus died on the tree, he went all the way back to Genesis where the first sin occurred that had to do with a tree. And Jesus, being Jesus and fulfilling every jot and tittle of the word, went back to the beginning to redeem what was lost at the beginning, which really is the core of all of our sin, because it had to do with self, if you think about it. He went back to the beginning to gather that up and take it with him to Calvary, and he nailed it on the tree there in the garden he nailed it on the tree to die so that we might live a redeemed, restored life. In a Watchman Nee book that I read fairly recently, it said, as the first sin was, so shall all the sins thereafter be. The sin which Adam committed is the same sin we all commit because according to the Bible, sin has just one principle behind it. Think about that. You think of all the sins in the world, it has one principle behind it. In every sin, we can see self at work. That's astronomical. In thinking of the multiplicity of people, ethnic groups, cultures, just think, let your mind and your eyes scan the world. People who are lost, confused, needing a savior, and what drives their behavior what drives their thinking? What drives their being? There's one principle behind it. It is self at work. What I want, what I need, what I should have. He came to slay that in us. Why? Not that we wouldn't know fulfillment in our lives, but to set us free from an enslavement to self because only then 
would we know the liberty, the freedom, the joy, the life that he came to bring us. It has to move past self and bring us into a kingdom flowing with the grace and mercy and love of Jesus that cares more about others than we care about ourselves. I know there's a lot out there today about self-care and there is a healthy aspect to self-care, but to never move beyond that is to lose the greater purpose for which we have been brought forth. Let's not partake of that first tree. Let's partake of the tree of life, the person of Jesus Christ. God bless you today. Thank you.